Hey you guys, I am back with a brand new Hit Mafia 30 day real time challenge for you. I am very excited. I have been listening to all you guys. You know, I want another challenge. We want another challenge. When are you doing it? Well, I'm doing it right now. I put together some crazy ass workouts and today we're going to start off with a bang. For those of you who are just starting with me, however, do not get nervous. Be good. Hey, go, go. I got a new dog and she's going to probably be making some appearances today. Uh, so let's get right into it. All right, you guys, if you don't know Hit Mafia yet, it's a company I started that I wanted to build a community for everybody, all of us who work out together, who feel the pain together, who are sad together, happy together, you've got weight to lose, you want your abs to come out, you want, I mean, all these things, we all have struggles and we're getting together right here at Hit Mafia and I will be helping you along through it and I will be giving you guys free workouts that you can do with me at home for free. That's it. So let's get going with the workout. All right. I will explain it to you. So get uh, your water and get a towel. And then I'll tell you in a second what else we need. This little troublemaker over here is going to probably make an appearance. All right. Let's get going, guys. Woohoo! What are you doing? You're like a new baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys. This is the workout. Are you ready? You're going to need. Two sets of dumbbells. For me, I am using a pair of eight pound dumbbells for one exercise. I have these two pound uh, weight gloves on my hands. Uh, otherwise, I would be using tens. Then I'm also going to use 15 pound dumbbells for man makers. Okay, so if you want to use the same weight for both, that's fine. Um, I'm using a dip station. We're going to be doing reverse push ups. You need your jump rope and you need a sandbag. You can also possibly use those weights instead of a sandbag. Uh, uh, yes, so let me, let's get going. So part one is going to be nine rounds. We're going to hit it hard for nine minutes. You're going to do three exercises three times through. So set an interval timer for nine rounds, 10 seconds of rest, and 50 seconds of work. Got it. Yippee. I am so excited. <laughs> I always get a little nervous before we start because I know what I put together is madness. All right. So for the first part, you're only going to need the dip station. Okay. The other equipment you're going to need later. So just put it aside. This is the only thing you're going to need. If you don't have these, you can, all, I've seen people, you gotta be really careful, but I've seen people take two chairs and a broom. All right. You can also, you know, Use your sandbag and do another, like a bent over row or something else, okay? So don't worry if you don't have this. Don't stress. Find a different exercise that you like, but what I'm trying to do is work your arms and your chest. We're going to pull ourselves up. All right. So exercise number one is a rocket launcher and three push-ups. So it's going to look, well, I'm just going to show you. We're just going to start. On your mark. Get set. Ten seconds is rest. Then you're going to give me two jump squats and one jump tuck. That's a rocket launcher. So it's one, two, three. Right into three push ups. One, two, three. Jump to your feet. One, two, three. some cardio. 10 high knees and 10 inside feet. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 4, 5,
If you are a beginner, you can just do high knees the whole time. You can also just walk it out. For me, I'm crazy. And when you are lifting your leg up, you are not reaching down to your foot. You're bringing your foot up to you. Five seconds. Knees up. Reverse push-ups. You're going to need your dip station. So, I love these. I haven't done these in ages. Grab the bars and go from straight arms. Pull yourself up. Holy hell. I'm going to turn a little bit. Can you guys see me? 20 seconds. Grab a heavy weight. You can do rows just like this, okay? Grab your sandbag. You can do those. You don't have to have one of these.
Chest all the way down. Last one, come on. Get up. All right. Ten high knees, ten inside feet. Twenty seconds. Shake it if you have to. And then grab on. Keep going. Ten seconds. That's it. Activity completed. All right. Grab your jump rope. You, my dear, can't be on this couch. Come on. Okay. All right, grab your jump rope. You are going to give me <coughs> 200. <coughs> Just move right along. Oh, this is hard to stand.
your arms. Kill. Ah, oh, good job. All right. Part two. You are going to need your sandbag and your jump rope. Same format as part one, just three different exercises. So grab your bag. Mine is 40 pounds. Okay? 40. Can you see it? That's good. What we're going to do is a ninja jump tuck. And then you're going to grab the bag and throw it over your shoulder. So, I want you to practice it before you begin. That way, you're not wasting those 50 seconds. So, you guys know what a ninja jump tuck is. If you don't, I'm going to show you. We're not doing the tuck, though. We're just getting to our feet. So, it's going to start off as number one. You're going to get to your feet. Grab your back. Right? Use your legs to pull it up and get down into a squat. And stand up. And then you're going to drop it. And you're going to get down. And you're going to do it again. Get to your feet. Get the back. Lift it with your legs. And do a squat. Stand up. And then drop it. I'm going to keep my lighter sandbag on hand. You never know how many I can do with the sizes. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. All right. I need some water. Stand up. 
Lower it. Get down. 12 more seconds. Holy 
Tomas Choli. 10 seconds, come on. Get a couple more in. Grab your sandbag or your weights. We're going to do 50 press ups. I'm going to start off with my 40 pound bag and then change to my 25 pound bag when, I'm, like, when I go to fail. Which means when I just can't lift this thing anymore, I'm going to drop it, shake it off, and pick up my, my lighter weight. Are you ready? Get the bag up and over your wrists. 50, go. Abs in. Six. That was 10. Come on. 13. Oh, I don't want to stop using this bag. Come on, you guys, put your head in the game. Let's go. I'm trying to do 
more than this, that. 36, 37. I have 10 more. My shoulders are like, no. And I'm like, yeah, come on. One, last 10. Two. Forty-five. Last five. Three. Four. Last one. That's fifty. Oh. Okay. All right. Take a sip of water, and then we're going to start on part three. Take a sip. All right. Let's get right to part three. You're just going to need your light weights. So I have eight pound weights that I'm using. I would normally use 10 pounds, but I'm going to put my hand weights on. Um, and then that's it. So we're going to do long leap burpees and we're going to do one jump lunge with two mountain climbers. And then we're going to do a squat with a front raise. So that's just so you know what's coming up. Set your timer, same thing, same format. And then after we complete this nine minutes, we're gonna have a little bit more of a bonus and then we will be done. So make sure you have your water, get your timer ready to go <clears throat> again. And let's do it. First 10 seconds is rest. We're gonna do a long leap burpee. So I'm just gonna actually move these out of the way. And I want you to do I can't really jump that far. Long leap, jump, hands down, jump back, push up, jump forward, turn around. Or if you can keep going, keep going. I gotta move this up. Should have planned better before. All right, so jump. My arms are dead from those press ups. All right, 10 seconds to rest. Now, one jump lunge, two mountain climbers. It looks like this. Rather get up, then do the raise. 
otherwise it becomes like a sandbag swing and you're using momentum. That's not what I want. All right. Long leap burping. Back at one. This one burns your legs. Seconds, come on, push.
it out. You can change your hands the way you're holding the weight. My heart is beating so hard. Get that breathing under control. And go. Five more, I'm not giving up. Take a sip. Five more. Day one of the Boss Mode Hip Mafia Challenge. Come on. Keep pushing, you guys. We're not done yet. Five more for me.
That was a good one. Yeah. That was day one of my second 30-day challenge, which is the Hit Mafia Boss Mode Challenge. Good job, you guys. Make sure that you drink a lot of water. I want you to cool down and stretch right now and take a shower and get on with your day. Or if this is nighttime for you, go to bed. <laughs> All right, you guys, so nice job. Tomorrow is just gonna be as just as tough, especially if you pushed yourself today, you're gonna be feeling pretty sore tomorrow, but we're just gonna work right through that, okay? Because that's what we do, because we're crazy. Word to my beginners, please don't feel intimidated. I know that when you first come onto the my YouTube channel, you see me doing some crazy moves. I, I have every range of person on every fitness level that join me. And for anywhere from someone who's never worked out a day in their life that needs to lose around 100 pounds, other all the way up, all the way up until my conditioned athletes. I can train everybody. So when you're first starting, take your time, take it easy, only do the modifications, listen to your body, and that's it. You also want to do that for those of you who are my most advanced. Always listen to your body. If you feel like you're going to get sick or pass out, you're done. You're good. Or if you just need to walk it off and catch your breath and then you're like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Then, you know. But like I said, listen to your body. I know when I need to call it quit, call it quits. I've had workouts where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like two thirds of the way through and I want to end it. And I do, because I don't want to be sick. I don't want to hurt, you know? But I don't quit because I'm bored or just want to stop. I only end it early if physically it's not healthy to continue on. That's it. So you got to be strong. You got to be stronger up here. Maybe you don't feel so strong physically, but mentally you got to get in the game. If you want to see changes, then you're going to have to be consistent and you're going to have to stick with me. Pain, uh, discomfort, all of that is what's going to happen, but those who push through that will succeed. You will get that body that you want. And if you're with me for these 30 days, you're going to watch your body change significantly. All right? That's it. I'm getting off my box now. Good job, you guys.